All right, so this is the last problem we're going to be working together in chapter 11. This is slide 94, um, sample problem um, in our chapter 11 PowerPoint. Now, so far we've learned about Dalton's law of partial pressures and the ideal gas law, and in this problem we're actually going to combine the two. So sometimes in the lab, when scientists produce a gas in a reaction, it's collected over water. And um, the water vapor mixes in with the gas that we're collecting to form a gas mixture. And we can write a Dalton's law of partial pressures stating that the total pressure of our mixture is equal to the partial pressure of water plus the partial pressure of whatever gas I'm collecting. And we remember that our, our ideal gas law is PV equals nRT. So in this problem, it says, when magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid, a volume of 0.355 liters of hydrogen gas is collected over water at 26 degrees Celsius. The vapor pressure of water at 26 degrees Celsius is 25 millimeters of mercury. If the total pressure is 752 millimeters of mercury, how many moles of hydrogen gas were collected? So this is a two-part problem wherein we have to use Dalton's law to figure out just the pressure of the gas, um, hydrogen in this case, just the pressure of the hydrogen gas by itself, and then we plug that value into our ideal gas law equation. So I'm going to start with Dalton's law. This is going to be part one of our calculation. We currently have a total pressure of our mixture, which it tells us that the total pressure is 752 millimeters of mercury. And we also have the vapor pressure of water at the temperature which we're conducting the reaction at. So it says the vapor pressure of water at 26 degrees C is 25 millimeters of mercury. That's our partial pressure of water. 25 millimeters mercury. So currently what we're looking for is our pressure of our gas, which in this case happens to be hydrogen. So we're looking for partial pressure of H2. We don't know that. But we can use Dalton's law of partial pressure to figure that out. So I have my total pressure, my pressure of my water, and I can rearrange, do some subtraction to figure out the pressure of my hydrogen. So I'll keep marking on this, sorry. 752 millimeters of mercury, that's our total pressure, is equal to 25 millimeters of mercury plus the partial pressure of hydrogen. So I can subtract 25 millimeters of mercury from both sides to get my partial pressure of hydrogen is equal to 727 millimeters of mercury. So that's step one of our problem. We've got our pressure for hydrogen. Step two is to solve the ideal gas law to ultimately figure out the number of moles of hydrogen collected in this problem. So that means we're going to need to know pressure, volume, our gas constant, and temperature, and plug all those in to our PIVNERT, our ideal gas law, to solve for P. So I'm going to write down all the values that I have that were given to me in this problem. So P 
I think I misspoke just a second ago. We're looking for moles of hydrogen. We have figured out what pressure is, what volume is, we know the ideal gas constant, and we know the temperature. <clears throat> so our pressure, which is what we just solved for, is 727 millimeters of mercury. Our volume, it states in the problem, is 0 0.355 liters. Our moles, that's what we're looking for. Our ideal gas constant. Now, since we are in pressure units of millimeters of mercury, we're not going to use the 0 0.0821 version. We're going to use 62.4. And this is stated earlier in the PowerPoint presentation. There's basically two versions of the ideal gas constant that you can use which are dependent on your unit of pressure. So 62.4, and that's in units of millimeters of mercury times liters over moles times Kelvin. And then our temperature states in the problem is 26 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna go ahead and add 273 to get it into Kelvin because we're gonna need that to plug into our equation. And I get 299 Kelvin. So now I can plug into the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, we're solving for moles or N in this case. So my pressure, 727 millimeters mercury, volume, 0 0.355 liters, Looking for N, got my ideal gas constant. I'm running out of room here, so I'm gonna continue. And we're also multiplying by 299 Kelvin. So if I multiply 62.4 times 299, I get, 18,657.6 times moles. And if I multiply 727 times 0 0.355, I get 258.085. So I'm gonna divide both sides by the 18,000 number so I can get moles by itself. And I get that my moles is equal to 0 0.0138. And that's obviously, we're looking for moles, that's so going to be in units of moles. And there you have it. You have solved a complex two part gas law problem, incorporating both Dalton's law and the ideal gas law.